So Bluetooth Low Energy Technology is a low power wireless technology that's used for connecting devices with each other. And usually it's uh, very prevalent in uh, smartphones where you can connect to a device from your smartphone and control it and does not require being around a Wi-Fi network um, where you're in a rural area you can connect with a phone with a device and uh, being able to um, control that device remotely. And Can we rephrase that? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, go for it. Um, so Bluetooth Low Energy Technology is a low power wireless technology that's used for connecting devices with each other. And one of the most uh, important aspects of Bluetooth Low Energy with, when compared to other low power wireless technologies such as Zigbee or Z-Wave is that it exists in most smartphones in the market. So it makes it easier to uh, interface with that through a, a smartphone app. IoT or Internet of Things um, developers would be very interested in learning more about Bluetooth Low Energy, for example, because it's existent in most smartphones in the market. It has uh, the lowest power technology, wireless uh, technology out there. It's one of the most low power technologies, as well as being able to um, develop it in a very rapid way. It's uh, easy to understand. Um, it's faster to learn. Uh, one of the advantages also is that the specification is free to access and uh, developers can learn to use it and, uh, for free uh, by navigating the resources that are available from the Bluetooth SIG, which is the uh, special interest group, the, the body um, that governs the uh, Bluetooth standard. There are many resources uh, for developers uh, looking to learn Bluetooth Low Energy and how to develop for that technology. Uh, there are a few videos on YouTube uh, which I actually have uh, produced myself uh, in partnership with a company that's a major player in this space. They provide a tool that's used by companies developing Bluetooth Low Energy Technology uh, devices. And so YouTube is a good uh, place to start when you want to learn the basics of the technology the technology. Um, in addition to that, there are a few books out there um, that uh, talk about um, the technology, the basics, and how to develop for it. And there's also websites where people ask questions such as Stack Overflow, um, Stack um, Engineering, I believe it's called, also um, has a lot of uh, questions that come from people asking about that uh, technology. And that's where a good, a good place where developers can learn a lot about this technology.